And we're live. Live, 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 live. Oh my god. Live, 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 live. Wait, how's my avatar? Does he look perfect? Is he is he stunning? No, he's not. He's got like transparent things in his head. It's fine. It's all good. Let me share it. Let me tweet this out real quick. Give everybody a chance to get into the chat room. To let everybody on Twitter know. Hey, we're doing a thing right now. Sweet. Right? Sweet. Sweet. Okay, copy this. Close this. Discord, everybody, join us on Discord. Link to the description below. Please and, do that. Uh, I hope it won't leave the chat. Am I still? Am I st yeah, it's still showing you. Okay, good. Oh my god, technology. Technology. Amazing. I casually spent nine hours yesterday working on a tutorial. It was great. I actually had a lot of fun. Of course, I can't do that every day because my brain will explode. But it was pretty good end result. Pokemon stuff always gets attention. And, like, I don't really like Pokemon that much. I do like Pokemon, but I would never make a Pokemon game unless it was my own IP. But regardless with that, uh, let me hit the record button and pretend that we just started right now. Because that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, I like it. Recording. How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm joined with the beautiful, lovely, talented T. Hello. And the talented Aerosis. Hey, good day. Today, we are going to be looking at Aerosis's plugin. Aerosis, that's funny. I don't know why that tickled me. But this is we're going to focus on the premium features of this plugin today. Uh, we've gone over this a few times before. Uh, this will be the last video we do on it, as far as I know. Um, it's a really, really cool dungeon generation plugin, and it needed a few videos to really explain everything that it has to offer. Um, we're going to be looking at what this paid version can do for you. We bring the audio down on that music a bit. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy the stream, and let's take a look, see who's in the chat. Vino's here. What's up, Vino? Arrow's here. Hula, who's this handsome man with the white hair? We have our avatars, and we have Erosis in the corner there. Let's move him over. Hey, Erosis, how's it going? I'm over there. Say something. I'll, I'll shake your avatar as you're talking. <laughs> you're supposed to say something. Arrow, are you there? <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> no, my, my avatar is... Uh, hey, at least it's not stuck with a uh, mouse open state like yesterday. <laughs> right. So we have animated avatar, but we were unable to get uh, his his uh, stream all set up. for the. Oh, for, so I can just shake him as he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I can't do that every time. So isn't it? It's fine. It's, nobody's going to care. He's joined us there in spirit and on Discord call. KV Kingdom, how's it going? Sir Legna's here. Veroclaw, hi there, I see you. What's hey up, everybody. Zarya? How you doing? Hey, everybody. How's your day? KV says, VTuber avatars are working better today. I like the size, too. Cool. Cool. We're going to get there. Yeah, get it'll there. take a little while. Driftmon. What's up, Pika Mula Mouse? Gesso? I'm on Vroid trying to Jisku. do avatar stuff right now, so if my avatar is just staring in one direction with its mouth open, that's me concentrating really hard. Gesso is saying your avatar is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Marlin? How you doing? I can just shake him while we <laughs> while he's talking. <laughs> <laughs> Take that out of context. <laughs> oh, I don't like want to be shaked. <laughs> don't shake me. Don't shake me. Okay. All right, so I downloaded the most recent version, which you can do. I put a link to it in the description below. Uh, you can get the free version, of, or you can buy the paid version. They're, they're both there. The, the full version comes with the demo included, so it has the you know both the files in there for everything you need. So I've created a new project here, and I'm going to walk you through the steps as if you just purchased it. How do you add it and make it work in your project? So uh, I guess I'll take it away. First thing I do is create a new oh, project. Yeah. Uh, is something you wanted to say, Aaron? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Um, be before we officially uh, start, I want to uh, tell you I made a survey on my blog, and I want. Uh, can, can I post a link in the chat? Yeah, yeah. In fact, okay. uh, maybe it'll it'll it might block it. Just post it. Uh, post it in Discord, and then T can. Post it to me, yeah, and, and then I'll post it. Put it in our Discord chat, and then T will be able to do it. Since she's modded. <laughs> okay. Otherwise. Um, yeah, and. Um, what? Go ahead. Okay, okay. 
Um, yeah, I made this uh, short survey. It has, I don't know, a couple of questions that um, will help me to understand how you feel with the plugin and what you like, what you uh, dislike, and what you hope to see in the future. And yeah, it would be great if some of you were already uh, did something with the map generation. Um, can participate and maybe at the end on, of the stream we can look at the results because they are um, visible to the public and yeah, it would be great if we <laughs> hey, shake my water. Uh, it would be great if, when we can talk and discuss at the end of the stream. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Cool. I had to shake your avatar because I haven't got my guy set up right, and every time audio plays through, uh, it also makes my avatar speak, so it looks like my guy's <laughs> mimicking you. <laughs> so it looked funny for a second. I was like, I better just uh, show who's talking. $30 super chat from Legion of Light. Wow, thank you, Legion. Thank you so much, Legion. I appreciate that. He says, hey, guys, how are you? We're doing very well. Uh, he says, love the avatars, just popping in to say hi. Thank you so much for the 30 bucks. Really appreciate that uh, for supporting the stream and what we do. And let us know if there's anything we can do for you, Legion of Light, uh, a.k.a. Forsaken Angel 1101, I believe, on the Discord. We really appreciate that. So um, without further ado, let's jump into, say you just purchased this plugin and you want to create a new project with it and get started with it. I'm going to walk you through the steps real quick, and then we'll go over some of the premium functions that you can do with this paid version. And then we'll also take the survey at the end. So that's basically it. Download it. The link is in the description below, and it will be like this, and you can buy it here. And then if you don't want to buy it yet, you want to evaluate it, you can go down here and get the demo. Either which way, this will still work the same um, for the first part you know, of what I'm doing, how you install it and whatnot. So after you have it, you download it, and then you're going to extract that somewhere. So let me move this back down here and go back to the chat. And then you're gonna, uh, once you've got the zip file, extract it somewhere, and you'll have some files to have that folder up and ready to go so to show you should have something like that the R rng maps full version samples will come with add-on version sample and free version sample and you're going to go game open folder and you will have the game you just created and then the folder we just had <clears throat> excuse me i don't know why it didn't alt tab there but what we're going to do is take the um, add-on version sample and we're going to take the data, IMG and JS, we're going to bring them in here, and we're just going to move them here. We're going to replace everything. You can also copy paste them. So I'm going to copy paste them back here. Of course, uh, that was more than I, <laughs> that was the best way to do it. I typically go here copy them with control C, but I, I wanted to show alternate methods. I think we accomplished it. <laughs> we're going to be, this is our game project here, so we have everything we need here. Um, we're, we've added some JS plugins in here, and we need to add those to our project. <laughs> it's going to say the project data has been modified externally. Do you want to reload? Say yes, and, uh, and that'll work. We've got a link to the survey in the <laughs> chat. Go to check that out. <coughs> All right. Uh, yes, the link is there. Cool. Yes, the, the link is there. Okay. All right. So we need to add those plugins. So let's go over here. And oh, it looks like they've already been uh, added. I guess uh, the plugin uh, already added. Yes. Awesome. So that saves a step there. They're already on. They are basically plug and play. There's no parameters that you need to mess with. You'll just have to learn how to use the plugins. You can change these parameters if you want to, but you don't actually need to mess with them. And save our project. And let's go ahead and press the, the place sample map now. Do we have music in this sample in the free version that just got updated? Uh, I think yes. Okay. So in in the dungeon, there should be some music, yes. Okay. So let me pause our game music. And then I have a sound over it's, here. It's just a basic RTP music. Okay. You can probably turn that up just a little bit. 
Wow, is it the same song that was just playing that I had playing? I think so. Excellent. The global seed of this save slot is 46. Okay, I imagine that's randomized. Yes. Let's go ahead and full screen. Bam, in ultimate glory. Got some sparkly thing here. This cave has been created in such a way that you can progress north as well as return south. The layout will not change when you enter the layout again. How does it change? It's a little fast there. <laughs> Let, me, let me try again. Uh, the layout will not change when you enter a level again. However, it will change when you restart the game with a new save. I don't think that needs to be scrolling text, but I mean, I'm not here to critique your sample project. <laughs> okay. I can change it to a, a standard sure. message. Yeah. Is this going to start a fight? Uh, it was supposed to simulate uh, that it would have been a fight if you want it to be a fight. Yes, the monsters are there, they're not doing anything. Ah! Okay, cool. Let's get this treasure chest. Some 50 gold here. 50 gold. This has been randomly generated, by the way. Yes. It's uh, and the 50 gold is not. Um, okay. So every treasure chest gives you 50 gold because I was too lazy. I mean, it, it, it does the, the job. It's basically you create an event yeah. and you can make the event whatever you want. In this case, you've got enemies walking around that could attack the player and you can have a treasure chest. <clears throat> a good idea that I thought would be um, interesting to include with this is randomizing the chest itself. So you can make a common yes, event, make a common event that um, is basically called when you open the chest. And then the common event can give you random stuff. So even though the chest event is replicated over and over, the common event that gives you loot is randomized. So that gives you the ability to, um, you know, it, it the same chest can spawn everywhere and you can get different stuff in it, which is pretty cool. Yes, and now let's look at the actual seeded randomizer. So you should maybe go back okay. to the let's... bottom, to the stars. Okay, sure. And I yeah, because uh, this is, <laughs> yes, because that's the thing that we actually want to see here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it cycles through and... a variable, I think, to count how many maps. That uh, yes, it's, it's just a variable. And yeah, um, have you seen that the uh, treasure chests were still opened? Ah, they are not you resetted. added that feature, so now the chest will yes. stay open. Do they? Yeah. Oh, I see what's happening. You picked a seed, and the maps aren't just randomizing in, uh, like eternally. They they pick a random nature, and then they stay that random nature for this like entire playthrough. Um, well, I could explain how it's implemented. So, uh, yes. Yeah, I'd like to hear. It. Yeah. Um, so you not only set up a seed, but in the RPG Maker editor, you set up the floor ID as well. So like floor one, floor two, or floor three. And then when you have, uh, when you change a self switch, then the generator, or let's say my plugin, will store this information and it will save the information. Okay, on this dungeon, on this floor, this event and this switch, uh, this self switch. And this information is saved. And yeah, as soon as you re-enter the map, then the plugin will realize, okay, you are in this dungeon again on floor two, and we have this loot chest. And okay, in the let's say cache or in its memory, the information is still there, will be reloaded, and yes. Logo Design Studio Enterprise asks, is this compatible with MV3D? Yes. Yep, uh, it has some glitches, so I got some reports, but it's only a minor <laughs> thing. Uh, it's uh, it's a funny thing. So when you put a, an event and uh, you erase it, you open the menu and you close the menu, then you see a shadow on this erased event. Ah. It's, it's a minor uh, issue, it will be fixed soon, um, but in general, yes, they are compatible. It's still yes. compatible, yeah. That's awesome. Logo says it's re really sounds promising. And so far, I've I think it's very good. I think it's already worth the asking price. Oh, I think I found a secret or something here. Touch the portal. What happened? Oh, I turned it on. Yeah. 
mysterious artifact of the ancients. Tell me your wisdom! Not using RTP doesn't automatically make your game awesome. That is true. <laughs> stick figure. Yeah, so then it's it's customized, though. It's some... <laughs> My custom stick figure art is the best. Not like all those default games out there. My mouth is perpetually open. Is this the test features? Although not realistic, you can reset the loot chest. Okay, yeah, let's reset them so we can get more epic gold. So, uh, is it possible in the game to change this the seed and have the maps regenerate into a different, uh, like, format? Like, um, it, like when it started, it said, it said seed is 46. Uh, in the same game... Uh, yes, you yeah, you, you can. could press F9 and then go into the variables. As a, in the RPG make a debug menu. Uh, or you can create an NPC and then the NPC will ask you like, Hey, I'm the magic wizard and I can change how the world looks like by changing the small seat. Right, right. However you want to theme it. I, I went into the debug menu and changed it to 47 and it changed the maps up. So that's really cool. That's good to know that it'll do that. All it would require is that you change map. I like how you've done this also. Is this new? Like you're you're generating little rooms of like random things. Like here's a bunch of gold stuff. And the other one it was yes. like an altar. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Are we still doing um, preset things here, or is it a uh, noise map? Uh, this is uh, this is not. This is just a simple room. It's nothing special. I uh, just want to show you because this is the last premium uh, feature at the moment. Um, do you remember last week when we discussed about villages and yeah. you have a randomized village? You go into the house and you exit the house and then. Boom, your village map. looks different. <laughs> right, right. No, so this was a way around that. So when you exit your house in the village, the village stays the same. Yes. Right, right. Can we go in here? Oh, we should have randomized a gener uh In the demo, you should put the village thing here. <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is the village randomized thing done yet? Are you still working on that? Uh, yes. Okay. It, it will come in the future, yeah. Maybe... maybe uh, Make, just give them a warning and say, would you like to test beta feature uh, town generation? Just to people know that you're working on it if they haven't seen this video and they just like download your demo. Be a good idea. Oh, maybe. You remember how you did it in the, in the other demo project where you're like, experimental yeah. features? You could do that on this one too. I guess I can. Yeah, if people, will, people will like it because then they're like, oh, I see what's... They'll, they'll come back and check on your your web page you'll get more uh, views and stuff because ah, yes, they'll yes. be like um, he's working on this I want to see if he's done it yet and then they'll come back check for updates and whatnot cool I like that so um, is there what would you like to talk about next arrow uh, yeah not. <clears throat> um, in the chat someone asked for a sample of the MV NV3D setup um, yeah, why not? Um, it's a little bit outdated, but I think it should still work. It's on my page. So if you want, you can go to my blog and there is a playable demo in the web browser, so we can look at it too. Okay, cool. So let's go to the blog, which I believe the link to your blog is also on the itch page. So let's find... Uh, you know, that. it's just my nickname dot blog. It's very simple. Aerosys dot blog, huh? Bam! Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's very, very good. Hey, we made the cover. <laughs> awesome. Cross promotion. I love it. So yes. <laughs> we're going to go with uh, play in browser. Uh, yep. Play in browser. Oh, you're getting a lot of people clicking on this because it's so convenient, right? Yes. New That's experience? so cool. Then. Huh? I was reading uh, whatever language that was, German? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no, you spiel. Yes. <laughs> New game? Enter, yes. Oh, we have a mini map too. Oh, okay. All right. I see what's going on here. 
light source. And it's randomly generated this whole thing. Yes. It's, it's cool. But um, I, it didn't put much effort in it. So just a few corridors and just crystal things. Just to show that it's possible. Yes. Yeah. I like it. Let's yeah, but um, um, I already made some more examples with a, a 3D perspective because I think that's um, like a mountain road because this one looks really cool. How do you get out? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there, there is no going back. You only can exit in the north. Zum title. No es spe spell. Am I butchering it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, cool. I like how the water is also moving. Be cool. The uh, light, the flashlight is like sliding back, back and forth. That's a nice touch. Is that inside yeah, of an MV3D? Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a standard MV3D. I didn't put any custom Lighting. things here. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice little... Uh, sound effects are loud. It's yeah. In the chat. It's because it's the browser. The browser's like... I, I haven't toggled the browser volume down. But there's no music, so it doesn't really... doesn't really matter too much. That was basically it for this MV3D showcase. But, you know, you can see that it does generate maps and it does work. So that's great. Let's, uh... Yeah, and I think it's a whole different experience because, um, okay, you have the mini-map on the top left, but if you don't have the mini-map, it's a lot more difficult to get through the maze. Yeah, uh, is the mini-map included inside of MV3D as well? Uh, no, it's it's the Unpro Pro map, I think, oh, okay. where you can just you... get a plug-in. Right, Unpro Pro's mini-map plug-in. Very nice touch, because you would get lost quite easily inside a map like that when it's 3D generated. You got the teleport item, escape dungeons. We looked at this one earlier, but this is also yes. now in the browser, which is fantastic. And this is the noise yeah, map generation. It's, it's not always the one-to-one -one exact version from itch, because I don't do update this every time, but yeah. Basically, it's up to date. It's a running version of it. <laughs> yes. Where Where is the most recent version of your stuff? I would imagine itch. Uh, yeah, itch. Yeah, I would. I would put the most recent and frequent updated one where you also sell it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that makes the most sense. All right, where are we going now? Let's see. Let's look back on the blog. We've already gone through this, and we've showed this in episode. If you want to see more about this, uh, just look at episode one, and you'll see us go through this entire demo. We don't need to cover this ground again. Um, tutorials. Premium functions. Okay. Let's look at some premium functions here. Respawn at custom position. In this tutorial, we will transfer the player out of the randomized area, but when he re-enters the map, he will spawn at the exact position where he originally left the map. For example, if you have a tent or a house on the randomized map that the player can enter and search through, you should see you should use a seedable RNG here. Save player's position. Let's make a common event that stores the player's position on command. We use the methods that RPG Maker already provides. Uh, do you want to go through this? I can I can do it in game to like. Uh... Um, well, this is basically what we have seen with the secret rooms. Okay. Yeah. What do you um, What do you propose we look at? I'm, I know you wanted to look at premium functions and features. Yeah, it's a premium function. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we already looked at uh, seedable uh, random, the uh, seedable RNG. Mm -hmm. And the second feature, by the way, is the possibility to save in a randomized area and load the game and everything will look the same. Yeah, but there's nothing much more to say, but hey, it works. <laughs> okay, and that works great. Yes. And the last feature is this respawn at a custom position. So you um, 
We should try it in the village. So okay. we, when we still have the village from last week, then we can build a house and then you go out of the house and you spawn at, yeah. Okay, the so do you want to load the, load the game we were working on last week? Uh, yes, and then we can just put the add-ons over there. And then see how far we come. All right. And we'll do the same process. We'll go to open folder and open the other one, which is here. We'll take these JS image and data files and overwrite. Uh, no, 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 just, no, 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 just these just uh, JS items. files, right? Just these. Yeah, ju just the JS, just the JS. You gotcha. don't want to overwrite the data. Because then you'll lose um, all your maps and everything, right? Yes. <laughs> Plugins. We already we already have a okayish looking village on we can build on. All right, let's add the one plugin that I'm missing here. Is it the add-ons? Dungeon noise maps and add-ons. There we go. Apply that. Okay, and hit save, and we'll play where we're at. We've lost T. Where'd T go? T, where'd you go? <laughs> Come back. Is she gone? She she's gone. She she disintegrated like a boss battle, and you know when you kill the boss, it just like <laughs> and like little particles fly <laughs> off. It happened in the room, and I was like, "What? What's going on?" All right. Um, experimental features down here. Yes, uh, the blue one. Go to village. Now. Uh, yeah, but we, we haven't done anything on the village. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, what what would you like to do with the village? Um, Follow the so, tutorial, I suppose. Yeah, um, we should make an item shop or the blacksmith. So we need to do the interior of an item shop or the interior of a blacksmith. So you want to create a new map under town space? Yes. And you we'll can create it, it anywhere. You can. Blacksmith. And we'll say, I don't know, 25 by 15 or something like that. I'm sure it won't be overworld, so we'll put it in uh, enter. And uh, that'll work. Let's go ahead and in, play some music. In, area. in an, in an <clears throat> is the third one. All right, so let's make a map. Since we're doing generation, let's generate a dungeon. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Save some time there. I love it. Um, I, you know I suck at making maps, right? This is the worst part of RPG Maker for me. Oh shit, I missed the super chat. Man, I'm, I'm distracted here. What is going on? What is even happening? Live stream. $5 super chat from Waffles. What's up, Big Daddy Waffles? How you doing? Finally going to start getting my full amount. My job owes me for workers comp, so I don't mind throwing money at you guys. I don't mind you throwing money at us either. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. What a coincidence, man. <laughs> Thank you, Waffles. I'm back, guys. I had to step out for a minute. Sorry. What's up, Ready Player? How are you doing? What's up, Death Dealer? I see you there. Just a shout out to everybody. Didn't mean to miss you there. Alexander Crowley, what's up? How are you doing? Stop stealing my map design. <laughs> <laughs> You're always distracted. That's true. It's, that's life as a, as a, a VTuber now. Because I'm a VTuber, you see? <laughs> yeah, we're special. See uh, our specialness on the screen? It's all I'm, over the screen. I'm like helmet special. Okay, no. We don't need a mirror in here. We're, we're making an epic blacksmith. Because this is what Aerosyst has decided to torture me with he's like you have to make a map and i'm like oh i do huh this is fantastic arrow <laughs> <laughs> okay and by the way is there a reason that your house is uh, has the size of a football stadium yes i love that this is a ginormous house and i wouldn't change it for the world 
Bless you, Excuse wow. Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> Gesundheit? And did, I, did I say it right? <laughs> Oven? Uh, yeah, Gesundheit. Yeah, if you say Gesundheit. Let's get rid of the corner. Is this go. an oven that is too high? The oven is built into the wall, oh, Arrow. Don't you know how to make ah. maps? <laughs> I'm the best it was at making a long maps. Time. <laughs> <laughs> best map maker ever. And then we have a fireplace above it. I'm going to make the best map ever for Arrow. And then the piano goes into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> and you need a stool to play the piano with. Oh, and, wow. And, I should uh, pay you to make maps for I me. know. I'm the best. That's what they say, anyway. So, uh, then you He's need to, the best you gotta around. Have a date. <laughs> <laughs> no one's ever going to map him down. <laughs> we need some boxes. Come on. I'm entering in a game jam. This is my entry. And you need a bed right next to the fireplace for safety reasons to stay toasty and you need to have uh <laughs> yes this is the best <laughs> i'll take it back i'm making maps is sometimes fun <laughs> and you have to have <laughs> you you need fish by the fire <laughs> in your bed <laughs> and then when you walk into the room you, you're greeted with a royal couch wow I feel inspired. And then you have to have a window to too. build the other half of that cabinet. <laughs> how, many, how many how many failures can we make? <laughs> Your walls are too perspective. They're too right. You, you need, need an to fix outside that. map yeah. right there. Well, I still know uh, one thing. Yeah. Uh, can you can you put the staircases from the top left to the most ridiculous position? Because this is the one of the most common map failures I've seen. Yes. Yeah. The staircase to going upstairs will be right there. Love it. Mm -hmm. on, on the bars. Leading to nowhere. Leading, no, hold on. I'll find a better spot. Right there. <laughs> Good luck getting upstairs, guys. See, this is how you make staircases, right? <laughs> 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 oh, what is it? This is why your plugin exists, Aerosies. For, uh, for people like Trifty. I need you to make my maps with your coding <laughs> skills, not my mapping skills, because you see what happens. I, uh, I literally it's beautiful. don't know what to shoot on. So. It's beautiful, we're done. <laughs> perfect map. Do, do I need transfer events? Do I gotta make a transfer event? Uh, yeah, because you want to go out. If you insist. If you if you make me, I will. Let's see. Transfer the player from the blacksmith to... Uh, how do I know where to transfer the player out? That's the question. So am yep. I using am I using a, um, a script call or no, a plugin command here to call something? I don't know. Uh, yeah, but let, let, let's start from from the first. Let's start from zero. Okay. Tell me what um, to do. It would, yes, it would be easier if you make the first transfer event to go into the blacksmith's house uh, first, and then you understand how you go back. Okay. So um, this would be under... Uh, do I put this in a decoration? Or like, no? Yes. Oh, yes? Okay. Yes. Yeah, material the decoration. Okay, so and as you can see, I already did some work, so there are already designs. Um, yeah, I think we need to modify the decoration setup, and for oh, there are too many text messages, um, so that we can put a transfer event below. Okay, so we'll put. Yeah, the... but we only want the transfer event when it's the blacksmith's house, and not for every house going into the blacksmith's house. That would be weird. Okay. So we'll go, I'll say the stone one makes the most sense. But since we're going drifty style, we're going to make it in the wooden one. <laughs> it, it is randomized. Um, All right. No, we, we make it differently. As you can see, the, the houses are randomly spawned. So you can have a three stone house or three wooden houses and no stone houses at all. Right. Um, yeah, the setup is like it spawns a few houses randomly and 
then, as you can see on the bottom left, there are the signs, and mm -hmm. the signs will be uh, spawn. So, so first the houses, and then the signs, and then we can put the teleport event right there. Right there, where? Like under the sign, or like right here at the bottom? <clears throat> We're gonna assign it with a region, I imagine, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, can you go more to the left? I think there's some parts missing on this map. Oh my god, I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> Let me just minimize it. Alright, I was okay. like, where are the regions at? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> this makes yeah. more sense now. Okay, oh my god, now you don't okay. even have to tell me. I think I yeah, can't. okay then. <laughs> okay then, now I can proceed. Okay. Okay, to all the people in the chat, um, I have a 20 second delay, so sometimes yeah, there's a, there's I say a something and I need to wait. a second delay before like, he actually sees what we're talking about, <laughs> so, yeah, so not, apologize for that, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, so not being confused, okay. Um, yes, yeah, you can see, um, all uh, the, the signs have a size of 2, uh, so that uh, two tiles high and I think we should modify them to be three tiles high and then we can put the transfer event just below the blacksmith sign. Okay, we can do that. Easy. <laughs> Let's change this to add six to the height, so or three to the height, making it 16. And then let's mo make some modifications real quick. Uh, I will take this one event and bring it down to here and then I'm going to take this on this layer, put this here. This is gonna bump bump. This is gonna go bump bump. This is gonna go bump. Oops, nope, sorry. This is gonna go three of these, three of these, three of these. And um, then I'm gonna take these, put them right here. <clears throat> Not regions layer, sorry. Put these like so. Uh, and then erase this. I know it looks confusing now, but I, I think I have a <laughs> grasp of what I'm doing here. Hold on. Like so, and then we're going to find the missing piece, which would be something like one of these, I suppose. Uh, actually, you can leave it empty because empty is a joker tile. Okay, so just leave all those empty. All right. Yes, and not just arrange the signs so that they are in the correct line. <laughs> what are you laughing at over there, T? Sorry, try and ignore me. Just try to ignore me. I cannot. <clears throat> Just <laughs> entertaining myself over here, that's all. Um, uh, I freaking, is this go here? And then this goes, oops. This goes here and this goes here. Uh, no, no. It, it... Uh, it was correct before. You just need to move them a little bit more down. Uh, remember, you need the space between the matches on the left and your modification or your replacement on the right. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm wrong. This is wrong. Son of a bitch. Uh... I'm having a hard time understanding where to put the signs. Is uh, it does it go like? Because because the the bottom on, on the is... same level on the same level as the roof. Uh huh. But but you leave a space. Is this? But you're saying this is wrong. Well, I mean. <laughs> no, it's no, it's 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 okay. Uh huh. There you go. Okay, so there's a delay, but in 15, 20 seconds, <laughs> is that, uh, okay. that right? Because I think that's what it yes. was. That, yeah. it, it, the delay threw me off too, because I was like, is that right? And you're like, no. And I'm like, I think I was <laughs> right. And there's nothing more confusing when you get the right answer and being told you're wrong for whatever reason, whether it's delay or Yeah, not. I understand. Uh, I hear you. Okay. All right. Okay, um, and not immediately like intuitive, but once you understand how regions assign, uh, tell the plugin how to place things, it makes sense. 
Yeah, hey, you, you should have seen how the setup was like one half uh, year ago. There was no decoration setup with region IDs. No, you had to type in manually for each asset, the this, the highs, and its ID. And it was so much pain. Oh man, no, let's not do that. We'll use regions. <laughs> I like regions for this. Yes, okay. that's brilliant. So then, yeah, let, let's do our transfer event into the blacksmith's house. So I'm, I'm just, using 23. That should be fine, right? Any number we just assign, we can pick whichever one uh, we want. You, you don't need it. Come, we can just put it into the 20. In the same row, uh, just below the blacksmith sign. Right, right. Okay, because it's going to draw it there. All right. So let's get rid of region 23. It doesn't need to be a region there. We'll go to the event layer, put this up here. Um, but this one, we can also decide that it's going to have a it's going to have a tile set background like this uh, for the image of the delay. But I'm setting an image for it so that it looks like there's the dark darkness that you walk into. Uh, Yes, you could, but you don't need to. So how is it, um, how is the map going to know? Oh, wait, because I get it. I get it. Here's what's happening. Um, it's, it's going to replace this, uh, right here where my mouse is in 15 seconds from now. Um, and, and because it already has the darkness that you're walking into there, the transparency thing will say, um, don't change it. And so, because it won't change, it'll just place an invisible event on top of it. It still looks right, and then there's still a transfer event there. So you don't actually need to set the image, so we shouldn't to add no confusion to it. It's great. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm doing okay. it, all right? <laughs> no, I'm confused. Okay. Uh, let's put the event on the right side, below the blacksmith sign, and not below the matcher. So... Okay. So... Yes. Uh, they're saying in this, because there's no like little region 61 or something to end it, it'll always have to be the event. Yes. Even if there's a space. Yeah, the, the space is to separate what is going to be replaced with what will be the replacement. Hey, you got it last week. Did you forget it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Last week you said something like, oh, it's so intuitive, it's so easy. It, it is, but like, uh, this one threw me for a loop. Because uh, I, I don't know. Because to me, like, still, I'm thinking intuitively I'd want it right here. And I'm trying to, like, figure out why, why it has to be over here. Like, okay, well, that's not very clear with the delay. <laughs> I'm thinking it, it could be on, on tile zero one, on one. Uh, and then, but you're saying, no, it's got to be on one, two, three, four. It's got to be on zero five, or on five. And and I'm like, why does it have to be on five underneath the sign? Yeah, because we want to draw the sign and we want to put the transfer event. But okay. Yeah, l l let's let's just continue. <laughs> okay, sure. So then we, we can. Uh, okay. That's fine. We don't need to get hung up on it. Uh, sorry for the confusion. Uh, okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing, since we've got the transfer event and we've adjusted the height uh, of these, is let's save the project and whenever it randomly generates the town space, it will also. Um, generate the um, the transfer event for one of the maps but not the other two and and when it, we see the sign of the 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 sword and shield we know we can go in that house because it's been created and there's a transfer event there and then when we are transferred it'll transfer into this static map that isn't generated uh, and it's the most beautiful map you've ever seen well let's see if I did it right. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yes, uh, Selina got it right. It out, you guys can figure it out, I'm sure. Yeah, but uh, we, we, we are not finished. We haven't even started, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so let me just uh, let me just go ahead and. It, it would be so cool if the setup was so easy, but no, we have Look at that, to it do works. Some, something more. See, I told you it works. <laughs> It works, all right. Okay. <laughs> well, but I don't yeah, have but a can you go right. out? Okay, it doesn't matter. Cause look, I've got an unlimited supply of fish here. See. <laughs> all right, fine. Let's make our transfer event out. We have to finish. 
going go back to the map right and and remember where we were with the new premium feature yes so uh you need to save your location when you enter the house and then you can respawn so uh, let's go into the event where you go into the house the transfer event okay transfer yes, to and the blacksmith then, and yes and just before the transfer happens you put two variable operations like um, player x and player y okay Yeah, I used uh, the yeah, standard of GMaker functions. Do you want to store game data, the um, the parties? Uh, it the should be last. game data, char character, character, player, character, X. player X, <clears throat> map X and map Y, right? Yes. All right. So we copy paste this. Bang bang. Change this up real quick. Just a five dollar super chat. Player Y, two, I guess, because there's already one there. Five dollars super chat from Corey Davis. What's up, Corey? How you doing, man? So what have I missed? I hope you're driving safe. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are looking at the premium features inside the Dungeon Generator plugin by Aerosys. Links Hi, in the Corey. description if you want to check it out. I recommend you pick it up um, and then watch some of the tutorials on how to use it. Uh, maybe I'll make a quick edited video tutorial in the future on how to get this uh, in your project working as fast as possible and as very specific as possible. It's much more easier to follow when I edit a video and put it together specifically for the purposes of learning how to do it. Uh, this is a promo type of thing. Uh, hopefully uh, you saw another one of them because we're kind of at the end of a series here. But um, yeah, it's a really cool plugin that here's the TLDR on it. You can generate dungeons like rapidly inside the game. So you don't have to actually make your maps. The maps will make themselves with the code that Aerosys wrote. So it's pretty sick actually. And you can see by my epic map making skills over here, like, you know, I'm pretty good, right? I'm pretty good at making maps, but judging by this one. But you know, I think some of the auto-generated maps might be on, on point for me to do so I like it I think it's a really good plugin and and if you've got the money to throw at it pick it up it's uh, links in the description below another five dollar super chat from Corey Davis thank you so much Corey appreciate that man he goes sup you guys I'm just getting off so gonna get my workout on and eat and see what happens next that's, that's what it's all Corey. about man get your break it get your sweat on you know and uh, get those endorphins in your brain and uh, pull up and, and work on your project and have some fun have some fun <laughs> Do you like our avatars, man? <laughs> he is like frozen in a locky, a locked state. <laughs> I have totally not been fooling around with my avatar the whole the time. The whole time, right? <laughs> you did disappear. I, I told everyone that you disintegrated like when you kill a boss and they disintegrate uh -huh. little particles fly off. That happened in real life? Yeah. Um, okay, I... I lost my place. We are looking at an event here, a transfer event. Uh, we're storing the variables of map uh, map X and map Y of the player in a couple of variables, and then we're transferring the player <clears throat> to the blacksmith map. What's the next step we would go yes. about? Go into the database, at common events, and town generation, or generate town, or generate village. Uh, okay, generate town. It. I found it. Okay. Uh, copy paste it. Copy paste the entire script call or the int the thing. Uh, the entire common event. Uh, or duplicate it. Can't we just call the common event from uh, here, or from the? Uh, event? Yeah, but we we need to change it. There ah, will be two okay. common events because ah, the first okay. common event will spawn you at the, let's say default position, and the other one will spawn the players at the exact house position. So that's why we need two common events. Okay, so I've copied the script call inside the common event and I've pasted it inside the transfer event right underneath the variable control but before the transfer player. Uh, no. Corey, these avatars you are so much fun. $5 super chat. Why have you, why have you, oh sorry. 
Five dollars. Why have you compassed it and slide? Okay, go ahead. Five dollars super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. I appreciate the money. Uh, T, your hair is blowing with no wind, lol, and looks like you and Drift is on that dope. It looks like we're high though, but we don't do drugs, all right. <laughs> Anyway, sorry about that arrow. Um, I, I did this wrong judging by your response. It doesn't go yes. here. Yes, It doesn't go there. No, no, I meant you need to copy paste the common event So we have two common events, but you should not copy <laughs> the common event into this event sorry. Okay, so I'm doing some some uh, errors here by thinking for myself I need to just not think for myself and copy paste the common event and paste it. So I have generate town 2 Okay, <laughs> I'll follow step by step. <laughs> Say word. Yes. So, okay, then open the script call of the generate town 2. You got it. And then there's a line spawn player at south. And we need to change this one. Okay. Okay, um. We need to split the script call <laughs> because the the box is too small. Um, just remove everything from below draw structures. So draw structures details as days and everything below. Um, just remove it and we put it into uh, another script thing. <laughs> okay, I got gotcha. you. And we need to know the variable. I Whoa, no. Ah, okay. Right, so now we have room. <clears throat> Am I doing this wrong yes. again? <laughs> this delay is annoying, okay. Um, okay. Um, so when it comes to spawn player at south, yeah. um, we need to replace it with spawn player at x. Why? It would be so much easier when we use the plugin calls, but okay, now it's just the JavaScript calls. At X? So just, <coughs> I'm sorry, at X, um, Y? Like, is it just like two letters, X, Y? Mm, but without uh, uh, X, comma, no, Y? Not, not, I mean, I'm, you're, you're, trying to, you're trying to tell me syntax without I, I, giving me specifics, I so I can't possibly know I, the way you wrote it. Yeah, that's... Uh, like this in the chat that will work actually yeah yeah and then we obviously need some more work and the next code i type in the should i type in the discord chat or youtube chat uh either or will work x comma okay. y so we need to get the x and the y from the variables and the command is like this or do you know it maybe what game game variables? I mean, I could put those in vars if you, if that's what we're supposed to do. <clears throat> I don't understand your sent. I I don't know your specific syntax, so there's no way I could possibly know what you're trying to tell me without you very like literally tell me. Okay, assign a variable and give it the value, and then pass the next one. Okay, got you. At the top, I can do that. Since mv is using mz is using um, es6, I can actually do let as well. Yeah. So you already <clears throat> you're actually already doing that. Okay. Let x other side game variables dot value of I think it was three and then let y equal dollar sign game variables dot value of four I'll double check the numbers to make sure I've got the right variables for you yeah Um, X is going to be four and Y2 is going to be five. I'm not sure what the other one is being used for, so I'm not using it, I'm using my own. So we're gonna do four and five. Not a big deal. Four and um, five. And then X and Y will work uh, because we're we're defining it here. Spawn player at minus one, minus one. Um, yeah, you should put um, a, a plus one when it comes to the Y position. So the player spawns one place or one child below the door. And I think it would look better. Okay, so X comma Y plus one, got it. Yeah, but without the, the, the thingy, uh, it's not a string. Uh, there are two oh, okay, variables. Okay, okay. So, yeah. Plus so, one and then just what, leave what, this what is the English word for, for this thingy here? For the 
For for what? Uh, for what? Uh, when when you make a string, you make you make a symbol in front of the string and a symbol dollar behind sign? the string. Not a dollar sign. Uh, in in the chat. Oh, uh, quotations. Quotations, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't put the uh, quotations here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because we specifically check the variable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you. Sorry about that. That was my fault. That's a J general JS Double thing quotes. I failed at. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Your basic <laughs> JS is bad, Drifty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then there's yet another thing that we need to do. Um, because now we split up with a generation call, then grabbing the X and the Y, and then doing again a generation call that uh, is a little bit too mixed up. So you would need to type dollar noise map generator at line three. Okay, dollar sign noise map generator. Is that a function? And, and do I leave it like that? Or do I have to do dot in front of it to? No, that's the start of a function. No, 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 wait. It's no, no, just dollar noise map generator. Full stop. End. Uh, no, no function. Okay. It's uh, it's a static uh, field like in the script call just above. Yeah, no, it looks it looks correct. No. Yes. If you say like the one above, it's different, and I changed it to dot noise map function. Yeah, but we already did the dot noise map. We don't okay. have to do it okay. again. Okay, okay. Five dollars super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much for the five bucks. I appreciate another five dollars being thrown at me, Corey. You're the man. We really appreciate it. He says, "Law drift avatar looking like Wonder Wise." <laughs> I could do Stevie Wonder too, like this. You like that? <laughs> It actually tracks pretty good now. All right, so we got dollar sign noise map generator dot draw decoration blah 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 blah, and at the end spawn player at x comma y, and we're giving it the x and the y. What's up, Aslan? How you doing? What's up, Michael T? I see you there. Uh, you should see that what I have written now. Uh, arrow. Does it look yeah. right? It looks correct now. It looks correct, no. Yeah. Uh, now, now. Oh, oh, okay. Single. <laughs> uh, it looks correct now. Now. Oh, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. All right. So. Uh, yes, no, it's wrong. Exactly yes, right, wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> you are. You got it right if you think that being wrong is correct. So. <laughs> I really have to pee, Arrow. I'm so sorry, man. Go. I gotta pee. T is gonna Go make pee. noise and stuff. I can entertain the masses with my face. Uh, yeah, you're already stealing the show. I think. <laughs> Someone already complained. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm, sorry. <laughs> These VTuber things are just so fun. Where am I? I lost myself. I can't even. <laughs> At least you're animated. I'm an uh, un, un, not not animated. Hey, you picture. know, I one of these days am going to make a tutorial on how to do this. <laughs> okay. Then you can be animated. It's really not that hard. It's just like, I don't know. Have you ever done a? Have you ever made a Discord bot? Uh, I don't think no. The, the biggest barrier to entry with Discord bots is that you have to like take five different things and put them all in one place. And so it's kind of complicated and it seems convoluted at first, but once you figure out those five things and you put them in the same place, it seems pretty simple. It's the same thing with this. You have to use a bunch of different softwares and stuff, but once you, mm -hmm. once you have it all in the basket, it seems to make sense and it's pretty simple. Okay. Yeah, I never actually dealt with doing videos. Have you done any YouTube videos? Mm, no, not yet. I actually, I tried it some weeks ago. Uh huh. Uh, because I wanted to make a, a video for my plugin to advertise it better, but um, I failed. <laughs> Aww. Do you have a good recording software like OBS? Uh, no, the, the recording went well, and then I just want to make the, the most simple effects like, um, God, what is the English word? When you replay a uh, video much much faster uh-huh yeah 
A good um, software for that, if, if you're interested in doing that in the future, check out Vegas and watch for a sale. Because okay. it's actually a really good video editing software. And they sell it for like yeah. 20 bucks a lot of times. Ah, cool. Yeah, because that's the thing. When then I looked up into video editing software and ooh, they are mm -hmm. so expensive. And I thought, okay, mm -hmm. if for, for this one time project, I don't want to spend so much money. Right. <clears throat> I've heard a lot of good things about DaVinci too, which is free, but I, I tried to use it mm -hmm. and after learning Vegas, I couldn't use DaVinci. I don't know, it's like a different workflow. But of course, the first thing you learn is what your bias is towards, so I like Vegas. It's going to be a rough one. I have to give up Photoshop. I'm back, by the way. We, we, <laughs> All we, right. we subscribed to the um, Adobe thing, and it like locked us in a year contract. And we're like, holy shit, they like, this is like a mafia deal almost. <laughs> and if you, yeah, if you, Adobe? If it's, you it's unsubscribe, they, 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 they charge you for like 50% uh, of all of the charges that you were signed up for. So, like, if you signed up for like $30 a month for a year, that's going to be $360. And you cancel the same month, they're like, here's another $180 bill on top. Yeah. Yeah, that. You pretty much have to pay for the whole year no matter what. It's you have that yeah, if you set up if you set it up, you sign up, you pay for it, like regardless. <laughs> and you either can't use it and pay for half of it or you use it and pay a lot. Yeah. So we did one year and then and I wrote it down because I don't forget in, in August, August we are absolutely we're going canceling. to cancel it it's before it, it it resubscribes us to another year contract and it's more expensive. While I was in the bathroom, Corey Davis dropped a five dollar super chat. I don't know if you noticed that or not, but he said y'all's avatar moves so easy, mine moves like a plank of wood. Corey, lol. I can I can help you with that. It Thank you for the five bucks, Corey. Appreciate that, man. It says sensitivity settings section that I sent you at the very end. We can go through that if you want later. Just hit me up. Yeah. Also. So I notice I have to take my glasses off and I have to move my microphone down because if I like go off camera it freezes a lot and if I have my glasses on it freezes a lot so like I have to just uh, get my face right in the camera and push my microphone down because I normally like to be right here but I'm like up above it and I have no glasses on so everything's super bright and irritating but like that's what you got to do to make it stay Stevie Wonder you know what I'm saying if you want that Stevie Wonder you yeah. got to yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta get lit. Oops, I forgot to shut this. Two dollars super chat for Vino. Thank you so much, Vino. Appreciate that. Two bucks. He says, "Where am I? I, I lost myself." T twenty twenty one. Did you actually say that? Yes. <laughs> I lost my little face. It's amazing. <laughs> no, I have Clip Studio uh, art. So like now, I'm gonna be using that once uh, uh, Clip Art oh. Studio. Well, once uh, Adobe expires and if, whatnot. If anybody is looking for a drawing program. Also, photo manipulation to an extent, but it's not as good as GIMP, in my opinion. Clip Studio Art is one of the best softwares I've ever spent money on. Would 10 on 10 do it again a million times? Totally awesome software. Okay, so I've used it one time. I liked it. I only used it once because I have Photoshop, and pfft, I'm going to use Photoshop since I'm good with it. But when it expires, I'll probably be using it, yeah. yeah. Moving back on to uh, Aerosys's plugin. We got, we're going to look at that for a little bit more. Um, I finished the script call that was on the screen for a while. I closed it. Once yes. I've got that common event script call set up right, which uh, Aerosys says that it looks looks okay looks good um do we call that common event from the transfer event before we do the transfer event uh, uh not not here when you go out when you go out from the blacksmith's house then we call the new common event but not when we go in okay so the transfer in works fine we're ready to use the transfer in Mm -hmm. Yeah, the transfer in is simple. You just go out from a randomized area to a static map. There's oh. nothing more to do. You're just storing X and Y before you enter. That way you have some rep point yeah. of reference to come back out to. Yes, and, and then you respawn it. It's basically, it's pretty simple. You save the player's position when you leave the map, and when you re-enter the randomized map, you just spawn it. your memorized data. Transfer player to town space six nine, and then we do common event generate town. Let me copy these two. But we're gonna do instead of um, j town map, we're gonna do the new one we just created. So I'm gonna go into the one we just created here, blacksmith. Inside this transfer event, we're gonna do that. Generate event uh, generate town two, because this is like remember yes. where you were version of that town. So let's see yep. if I did it right. Yeah, not yet. Uh, we, no, we need to set it's up. ready. <laughs> let's go. It's not ready. It's perfectly done. One hundred percent. Every opportunity I get to show people my incredible mapping skills. 
That's what we do. Let's find it. Okay, oh. let's see what will happen when we leave the map because we haven't set up the siege ball archy yet. Okay, it won't let me enter because there's no blacksmith. <laughs> All right, Aerosis is right. It's not ready yet. We have to do something else. <laughs> Sir Lignan, ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> 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 Not so fast. <laughs> All right. What, what did no. I forget? Yeah, uh, you you need to see the balance, obviously. So go into the database when it says, um, yeah, generate a town. And I think we should just use the plugin commands because they are much faster than the JavaScript calls. Sure. And sure. Why don't um, I um, why don't I copy this event? Paste it here on 22, delete this script call and do a plugin command and then change the transfer event on the map. Um, no, no, it's not really required. We can, uh, we can keep our calls or why not? We can do everything from scratch again. Oh, Need to reconnect. No. It says it reconnected. Okay, okay, it's reconnected, yeah. Um, we need just one call so we I'm can... I'm still buffering. Oh, let me refresh, keep, sorry. We can, Sorry. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're still on. So sorry, Arrow. Uh, okay, again. Um, we just need to add one simple plugin command before we call the JavaScript call so we can keep the JavaScript part. And just go into um, the add ons, and then there's a command that says set seed. And to. to it. Okay. Make it easy. We just uh, should put in a number like I think 42 is the default value. That'll be fine if we we'll just set it to 42 and leave it. Yes. So for the short demonstration, just uh, leave it on 42. And yes, you do this on both common events. Gotcha. Done. Okay. Next step. I think it should be all, but why do you have three common events with time? Uh, because I was doing something else and I'll just delete that one. Don't worry about that one. That one never existed. <laughs> oh, okay. So here's the one with the RNG add on set seed plugin command value to 42, and then the script call, yes. and then I have the one that's coming back into it. We remember the X and Y position of map 42, same seed. Is there, did I, Am I forgetting anything else, or are we good to go look at my beautiful map? <laughs> all right, okay. Uh, I think now we have all that we need. All right, so now we get to view my beautiful map. Mm. With mapping skills like mine, it makes me wonder why I need this Generate Dungeon plugin. <laughs> <laughs> I still need to press mod in one button. Yeah, but, but what do you expect? Having one ma magic button that tells you Generate Game and then you have everything? Why doesn't this exist yet? <laughs> Yeah, because oh, I can't yeah. read your mind. Yeah, this is good right Boom. here. This is my map. This is this is my. Why is half the map? Why is half the couch able to be walked upon, but not the other half? <laughs> walked upon. Walked upon. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Passable. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna talk about walked upon. From walked now upon. On. <laughs> it sounds like a Pokemon character. Walked upon. We've got it's two. like, uh, what would a walked upon be, anyways? We've got two. <laughs> this is so great. Two music's playing. This just makes it better. All right. All right, here we go. This is my map. Let's see if it works. We're leaving. Oh, no. That looks like an error message what? to me. No, it's a. It's a, It's saying that I have to have the full version. Copy pasting the Which JavaScript. Full version. But we put the full version in. Please add MKRNG maps underscore add-ons to enable this function. Uh oh. Okay, so let me see. Maybe yeah. I did something wrong in the plugins. I I did. I don't think so. Is that a bug yeah, then? Yeah. Maybe it's a bug. Uh, but it did trick in the other project. Yeah, that's this. That's the strange thing. Like when I tried to do it myself here, it said um, it's like uh, you have to add the full version add-on plugin. And I up. Well, maybe did I have to double click? No, no, I did. It didn't. It didn't exist. Um, what? Uh, let me one point one. Oh wait, wait, wait! Double clicking didn't uh, update my maps. It was one point five two. One. Now it's one point five four. <gasps> ah, and it was uh, one point. I think it was point I think three that's two. Not, not, uh, it's not a problem. No. Oh well, I'm gonna try again anyway while you think about it. 
because it was using an out of date version. At least the plugin manager no. said so. Okay. Um, I think I missed the line on the noise map generator. In the plugin, the, or when you're giving me the help to do the in in the source code, yes. Ah. Uh, so hey, we found a bug. We hey, high five. Yeah. yeah. High five. <laughs> okay, high job. five. We we earned our money today. I wasn't completely useless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay, I had a pity day. I like. think I was a negative n net result today. No, you were a positive. Come on, T. You're a positive result. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, when we find bugs, we're making improvements. And the goal is to just constantly... We're not expecting perfection, Arrow. We're expecting improvements. Yeah, but we can, we can try it. Can you open the add-ons with a text editor? Like I, Google Studio. I absolutely can. Are you telling me I can look at your source code and change it on the fly? <gasps> oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my flipping. Flipping! Flipping! All right, hold Flipper. on. Open files. Never mind the extremely tiny resolution. I've got this uh, 2160p. I've magnified it 50%, but it's still kind of small. To it's see. so cute. And Just like you. My failing sight tells me that I'm not happy with super tiny windows. It's adorable, like Drifty. Um, it's fine. Okay, Aerosys. <laughs> This is the 20, uh, this is this project, the older one. I feel like here. putting a stick in your mouth. No, it's a project <laughs> file. <laughs> Fucking, where did I put it? Sorry. Oh, okay, I'll show Aerosis you now. random map. Uh, Aerosis random map. I gotta, oh my I gotta God. behave, I'm guys. I'm so stupid sometimes. Hold on. Um, I have to find the project because I have like a million. Okay, you don't understand. I have a million. Uh, open folder. MZ Aerosys Aerosys free sample. Okay. MZ Aerosys Aerosys free sample. That's the game. Okay, JS, because there's a million. And if I if I edit the wrong one, it won't make any difference. So let's open the you said add-ons, arrow? Add-ons, yes, okay, add-ons. Opening add Okay, I got the code open. I'm ready to hack the matrix. What line am I yes. looking at? Um look for spawn player add. So just control F. Okay. Spawn player at. Ah, oh, I pressed the Windows key. I'm a genius. Hold on. You are a genius. Okay, I found it. The uh, method spawn player at is over here. Function X. Yes, and as you as you can see, it's overriding only the dungeon generator, but not the noise map generator. So when you copy this whole thing so from line 172 to 180 uh -huh. Copy yep, paste and it. then we can yeah and then we can just replace alias 7 with alias 8 and dungeon generator with noise map generator and i need to look up the capitalization of noise map generator because i'm not sure if the if it's a capital first letter yeah, uh, sometimes when, when it comes to noise map and then the M in map, sometimes I write it with an upper and sometimes with a lower letter. It's wow, that's convenient. <laughs> it's a little bit unfortunate. <laughs> hey, Caligat, thank you. I'm looking at the room. Should get over here. Let me go to noise map generator 8. Come on, this. Uh, Take your time. I'm gonna test it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Nice map generator. No, it's, it's only, yeah. only the N and only the G are capital okay. letters. Okay. Noise. Yeah. Because it, it it immediately told me that that was not an object that exists when I tried to load it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now it loads. Great. Okay. Yeah. But uh, have you know you there are two times alias 7 that we need to replace with alias 8. Find out the super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much, Corey. Appreciate another five bucks. He says, whoop, they're bringing Pog to YouTube chat. I mean, that's a Twitch thing, but I still appreciate you bringing it to me. And the yeah, five bring bucks, it, Corey. Bring it. Thank you so much. So uh, back to Aerosys saying that there's another thing we had to add to edit. Yeah, you're just too fast. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta be like Sanic. Right. Yeah, it's it's line line one hundred ninety. The chat isn't uh, is blocking, so I cannot read the line numbers. 
but it's around line 119. Ah, uh, uh, alias 8.com? Yes. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's control S that. Was that the only other error that you know of? Uh, As of this I think notch, notch track, yes. Now it should work. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit a good old fashioned F5. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I got teleport. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, baby. Let it work. We're going to go into the house. The blacksmith. Here it is. Boom. Oh, my freaking, freaking, freaking. It's beautiful. My map is so good. I cannot good. see it yet. <laughs> oh, Arrow. He's, he's got a 15 second delay. Sorry, Arrow. I feel Arrow. so sad for you in my heart. So Look at my beautiful map. Oh my <laughs> god. It's the best map. It's the best map I've ever seen in my whole this entire is, life. This is my best work yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can't walk on this part of the couch, though. Someone peed on it. I don't know why. You should just walk on it. And we. Oh, fucking what? Sorry for the f bomb. You called the function spawn player exodus available as in the full version. Maybe try copy pasting. Oh, you forgot to import the required plugin. Please add. Same Vino. I had what? so many pogs. I was the pog master. So I definitely have the full version. Um, yes. Then I, it's an error. It's an error. Spawn player at. I love how there's two music's playing. <laughs> one two three, I'm saying stuff. Blah 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 blah. One two, one two three, I'm saying stuff. That's not blah, me. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> one two three, music. I'm saying stuff. Blah 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 blah. I would never say that. <laughs> we had to add a third layer to it. <laughs> so I'm 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 stuck uh, no, for it's, you. It's not an it's not an ordering issue. Um, yeah, I can tell you why it fails right now. Cause I think. Uh, we, we override spawn, spawn player noise map generator pro no in line 183 you have to place dungeon generator ah, as so well noise map generator. oh my god oh my god i should have saw that noise map generator i'm Our not gonna blame you sucks today. i'm not gonna blame <laughs> you for not telling me i'm going to blame myself for not immediately seeing that this was just you know a, a fail on basic JS. My basic JS is very good, Arrow, can't you tell? <laughs> Alright. Okay. It's not basic anymore. So aliasing is more uh, advanced, I think. Is it really? I don't feel so I bad think now. Yes. I, I don't feel so bad Yeah, now. because there, there are many developers who don't know how to alias and just overwrite everything when, when they do their plugin and then nothing works. I still overwrite most of shit. <laughs> 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 well, right. when, when I was a young boy, then I also did overwriting everything until I, just, I learned about aliasing, and oh, I felt I feel so much smarter then. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Look, let me define my functions here, and then uh, let me show you where I'm overwriting functions. Look, there's stuff here. Let me show you my aliasing. Everything's commented out. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to alias it. It's not working right. I'll just overwrite it. It's fine. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try it. I think it should work now. Oh, maybe, maybe I have to update uh, by double clicking. I don't think we need to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just make sure. You, you don't need to. Yeah, unless you're like changing a parameter in the plugin or something, it won't really matter. Okay, let's try it again. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Double music for the win. Pause this. Okay. And let's go in. We know where the map's going to be because we told it to generate the same seed. Otherwise, it would randomly generate these maps. Bam, uh, beautiful. Our best map ever. We already walked around. Let's leave and see if it works this time. Oh, my shit. Dungeon generator. Get it now on itch. Aerosys.itch.io. <laughs> yes, it works. Download it. It is the best thing for making maps. If you have the skill that I have with making maps, you may be wondering if you should get it or not. But the answer is you probably should. So you should go check it out now. There's a free version if you're on the fence about it. Aerosys, thank you for being on our show today. Thank you for supporting us in the Patreon. Uh, we appreciate you very much. Is there anything else you want to go over? Um. Yeah. Do Do you have still have some minutes? Because I want to look over the survey. Let's go to the survey. I think we have time to do the survey. 
Let's go yeah, to the survey and absolutely. take it. Absolutely. Okay, so this is. Uh, you put a link in the chat. I don't know if it's still there. It's probably gone by now. Let me put it in the description, <laughs> okay. though. Uh, T. Uh, just, just go to my page. I are. Uh, mm, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'm gonna I did go. link it, but it was a long time ago. It's okay. I'm gonna fix this. Okay. Things. Uh, there are problems, I but I also have solutions. Okay. I can, I can send it to you right now. I, I am on the Aerosys blog. Okay. okay? So All right. All right. Yeah. Can, can you go on to the to the stop page? On, on, the, on the stop page. page of my blog, and then participate in my survey. It's below the visus teller and uh, support me on Kofi. So bottom left. Participate bottom right. in my survey. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video, yeah? And I'm going to put your blog as the as the next link. Aerosys.blog is being edited into this video, so they can go here. Participate in my survey. We're going to do that next. And I will also put this link in. In fact, I'll just put this link in. Aerosys.blog. Come on, stop highlighting my entire description. There we go. Slash survey. Bam. So there's the survey. It's in the description of this video. Thanks for taking your time and helping me improve my work. Your answers will help me understanding what the will help me to understand what the community is looking for when using my plugins. RNG Maps survey. For which plugin do you want to have more features? For which plugin? Do you want to have more features? The maze generator, the one with the predefined snippets, uh, rather? You mean other maze generator? What is rather maze generator? Um, it's like uh, did, did I translate it wrong? Uh. So it's like an like an either or question. So do you want more? Should I put focus more on the maze generating with the snippets, or should I put focus more on the noise map generator? Oh, another feature of the maze generator. I'm not under. I, I'm I think so I many choices. I don't. Saying. I don't know like what you mean. Like adding more to the maze generator plugin that you already made. Oh wait, it's not a maze. Oh, uh, oh, oh no, look, no, no, no! I get it. I get right, it. It's right, like right. it's like okay. on a scale of one to five, how much do you agree or disagree with blah 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 blah? Or a maze generator. You know what I mean? Like, okay, I get it. Use, use like, definitely or. the maze generator. Yeah. Oh, I'd rather be on the maze generator. I don't really care. I'd okay. rather be on the noise map side or definitely the noise map side. Um, I'm going to say I want to see more on the noise map side. I definitely want to see more on the noise map side for me because I like how that's done and it's less work for the user. You define your decorations okay. with regions and I, I think that's the best way to do it. I like that the most. So, that, I mean, that's my opinion, but let's see what everybody else has to say. Uh, what do you want to see in the future? World map generator. That's going to be freaking hard, man. Town village generator. Zelda-like meta maze? Why not? More algorithms for the maze generator, the one using predefined snippets. More algorithms for... I want all of these and more. Yeah, why not? <laughs> um, uh, let's see. I, I want to do another thing. Uh... The, the impossible, right, is a puzzle generator. Now, I don't like puzzles, especially unsolvable puzzles. So you shouldn't do this puzzle one. Generator. You shouldn't do. You should not do puzzle generator. But yeah, I mean, it's can, a thing. You can try it. A, a simple switch <laughs> puzzle generation. Okay. Uh, by the don't way, to, to all the people ever in try puzzle generators. <laughs> Just warning you. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Real time so to everyone right in the chat, um, uh, so, so to everyone in the chat, uh, please, please spam in the chat what you think about my plugin, what you like, what you dislike. Yeah, um, ideas in the chat. Thank you so much, yeah. Vino, for the five dollar super chat. He says, please take this optional survey, and we'll keep calling you about your car's or, extended warranty. Or work. we'll keep calling you. Oh, 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 okay, all right. On, get it right. All right, sorry about that. Thank get you, it Vino. right now. Yeah, let everybody know, or everybody let let Arrow know. <laughs> let <laughs> everybody me. tell everybody else what you think about Arrow's plugin, because that's word of mouth in its finest. Zeriab says, give me everything. Zeriab wants everything yeah. and says, try puzzle generation. Uh, how satisfied are you with the tutorials and sample projects? Are they easy to understand? I yeah, am, you I should not answer this question because I helped you a lot. This question is for the people who that's true. Head. The <laughs> reason why I'm very yeah. satisfied is because I had like the like personal <laughs> education. Oh. I had private teaching. Hey, this is a cool comment. Yeah. Marlon C says I put 
doodads on the space map and it works. Doodads will work on the space map what? too. What? That is what? so cool. Oh, you might want to add That's not supposed to oh, happen. Supposed to work. <laughs> it should totally work. Leave it. Leave it. Don't. Um, I... You should test it, and if it oh, does, advertise that it does. That's amazing. That's the first okay. thing that's excited me because I actually make. I like making my own. Maps, a lot of people use so. doodads. It's a yeah. big thing. How much have you already interacted with these features? I've made my own map, and I've also generated one, so this is great. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, I have on the on this, but not like on my own. But I'll put both because I've I was walked through them actually. How much do you agree on these phases? The plugins are easy to understand. Uh, I strongly agree. Um, the generation, well, because I, I'm biased. Okay, my my survey will look different than everybody's. Obviously, I'm very biased because I had like somebody telling me, "Know this, this, know that, know this, know this, know that." <laughs> Marlon C says they put their star character on the space map, so it works on the space map. Does it work on the generated maps? I strongly agree uh, that the generated. No. <laughs> it's not supposed Era to. Eros says no. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can throw doodads on the space map and then they will appear on the space map, but you cannot put doodads oh. on the snippets Marlin, so they will be Marlon, why you get my hopes drawn. up like that? That's Come not the way it was designed. Dude. It was designed to read the map oh. and then uh, add it to a region and then draw that based on oh, if you am use I wrong? That, that was a bait and switch right there. I was like, yeah, Not on the generated map. No, okay. no. Okay. okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe in the future. That would be cool, though. But you could do it on, um, like, if you're going to do it yourself inside a generated map, you can combine them together. Mm -hmm. The provided plugin commands and JS functions are understandable and useful. Yes. The provided plugin commands and JS functions allow me to make a variety of maps. Oh, yes. I have ample control over the way maps are generated yeah there's like i mean there's a lot at first you know and if you didn't have somebody privately teaching you or you don't fall through the blocks you'd be lost but because there's a lot of tutorials that on um aerosys.blog you can actually have all the control by learning how to do it i can make maps that are fun to play on oh much better than my beautiful maps next Stalactites, rocks nah, hanging from that's above. Stalactites, man. Stalactites. <laughs> <laughs> Stalactites and stalactites. <laughs> kind of, uh, you need to scroll up. Oh yeah, I mean, maybe do a little jump to uh, HTML thing there. Uh, it's a Google Form, so I cannot change it. Ah, that's buggy and stupid. But uh, it's not your fault. I'm sure it's just a plugin, right? Somebody yes. else's plugin on the HTML. Whatever. RPG RNG map survey uh, plugin commands and JS calls. Do you primarily use plugin commands or JS codes? I mean, I, I pretty much use JS codes the, mostly. Uh, we did uh, use plugin uh, commands. Um, yes. Uh, well, how to say? We did both, but I, I would I like JS codes because you can change things more. Uh, like you have more control with JS. Mm-hmm. How yeah, well do you understand uh, how the JS codes in RNG maps work? Not at all. I copy pasted. I can read code snippets from the blog sample and slightly change it. I copy paste code snippet from the blog sample project and slightly modify it, but that's fine because I they already fit my needs. I may copy paste the code snippet at starting point, but I understand all the functions. And I mean, I'm not at the point where I understand everything yet, so I'm gonna go with a third one. I, w I would have to put some more time into it, but now that we're we finished the promo thing, people aren't at the skill level where they're if they're following along, I'm on the same level. I can start just working on it off camera and then make tutorials on it and just go advanced mode. What do you think about the provided JS calls, script calls? Uh, I want it much simpler. Simpler. I want it to be more simple, like having one. Or two plugin calls? No, because you lose control. Like you don't have the, mm -hmm. you don't have the. You, you have to decide. Do you want a little more complex, harder to understand, but more functionality, or less functionality, easy to understand? It's like a little balancing act you've got to do. Sometimes making it easier isn't the best option because then you lose what it can actually yeah, do. Yeah, create a few. I want them a little bit simpler. Blah blah. Combined functions. They. I think they're okay. There's no way to offer this level of customization. They're really easy to use, provide a lot of customization and control. I need more functionality to customize my maps. Um, I haven't really had a problem yet, but I need to put more time into it. I think they're okay right now. 
there's no other way to offer this level of customization because all the other pl plugins that try to do this are pretty, I mean, they're very basic and they look stupid, to be honest. This is the only generator that doesn't look stupid. Even the in-game map generator looks stupid. They make big box maps and it's just terrible. So this is a very good generator. It is a very good generator and I haven't said that yet. And I feel like I have to say that now since this is the last stream. You've done a great job with this. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> the itch page looks good. I like that you uh, took the feedback from last week and included the demo project in the full version. I think that was a good smart move. Okay. Um, so I like that. Uh, I do own the full version. How satisfied are you with the add-ons? Keep in mind that most of these plugins are free to try out and you don't have to pay for add-ons, but rather for the full plugins. I am satisfied. I think for, for 20 pounds, it's a fantastic value and you guys should buy it. All right. If not satisfied, <laughs> why? But I do. <laughs> it's even empty. It's oh. not a quiet field. But I do. <laughs> it means, I, but I do satisfy. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add? Thank you to Erosis. Thank you, Erosis, for uh, making for spending years of your life <laughs> working <laughs> on making my game better. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna improve a lot of projects. This is really cool. There you go. There, I did your survey. Guys, yeah, check it out. Right. <laughs> Thank you to all the people in the chat who give me this positive feedback. And hey, let's um, can you click on see previous responses? Oh yeah, I would like to see what people say. Oh, you have some analytics. This is cool. I love this. Sick. Sick. Yeah, because this, <laughs> this was the actual thing uh, I want to go through with all of you. Um, yeah, now because now we have okay, we have seven responses. That um, isn't much, but okay. Not a big, um, not a big maybe pool yet, but I mean, I'm bit. sure the survey is not that old as well. So. Yeah, yeah, I started and started it like two hours ago. Give it some um, time. Yeah. Yes. What do you want to um, see in the future? It looks like more algorithms for the maze generator is the winner here. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that already um, 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 surprises me a little bit, but okay. Especially the second uh, question, what do you want to see in the future? I can see, okay, more algorithms for the maze generator wins. Yeah. Seven of seven here. Yeah. <laughs> and there aren't many people who want to see a world map generator. Except there was one person who didn't check the town village generator. But in the last um, point where when you could add a random message, he wrote, he wrote, I want to see a village generator. So that's kind of confusing. Uh, <laughs> Did you yeah. even read the survey? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he misunderstood uh, something. The question, I, I possibly. Here. This is okay. kind of unclear. Are they easy to understand? Uh, five is yes. Uh, the yeah, analytics display. There are, there are people who still have problems. And yeah, one person wrote. Um, that I should proofread my articles with an, uh, by a native English speaker and yeah, I will do it. Um, some articles are very really old, some screenshots are not up to date. Um, yeah, I, I think I, this is a little bit more important than making new functions. Uh, I mean, th that's all like small shit that doesn't bother me really. Like when you see English translation that isn't 100% perfect, but you know what they mean, like it doesn't bother me. $5 super chat from Corey Davis. Uh, he says, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Corey. He says, Arrow, I would answer some of your questions, but I don't understand the questions that use non Ebonics words. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yo, uh, say, son, do you like this plugin? Like, that's, yeah. that's the question. It's like, Corey, yes or no. Corey's and then he'll that, be like, yeah. Corey's got that. Yeah, yeah, sick. yeah, 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 yeah. He's got a song about well, it. He's got that sick inner city Ebonics dialect. <laughs> How much have you already interacted with these features? Yeah, can we see something? Okay, um, Mace Lab. Most of you started with the Maze Generator, and some did started with the Noise Map Generator, but more people with the Maze Generator. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, it's it's clear because this is 
the, the starting point for my plugins. It also like it, it shows it like on the the front page. It's like you define your your pre predefined snippets, and so everyone's like, oh, I'll make my own, and the, they don't even. Re Some people may not even realize that you can use a whole other algorithm for noise map generation, and then have it um, use decorations to to like spray them on yeah. the map. What's up, Big Brain Forty Two? Yeah. How you doing? Plugin commands and JS calls. It looks like most people prefer the JS codes over plugin commands. That's pretty definitive here. Hmm. Uh, maybe they are MB users. Yeah. Yep. If you don't know how cool the plugin commands are, it's hard to know that you like them. MV plugin commands and MV are stupid. Mm, <laughs> plugin commands and MZ are great though. Yeah. The ones in MV are <laughs> awful. MZs did it right for sure when it comes to plugin commands. JS codes. How this is a full split. How well do you understand the codes? So this is like, you've got people all over the spectrum here. Yes. But this is only a small, uh, we need to look at this in like yeah. a few days or a week. Only six responses, yeah. Then it will become more interesting. Okay, the next thing is interesting. Many people told I need more functions to customize my maps. Huh. Oh, I did There's already mistake. like 15 of them that I've seen, and I, I'm like still trying <laughs> okay. to... Okay, uh, so when somebody of you is still in the chat, then type what function do you need? Because um, I don't know what, what, what should else I to add. add? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mar uh, just Mar give me more! <laughs> Marlon, see, uh, MZ makes it so plugin commands is literally just double clicking on your event page. And like it's it's like making an event. It's like placing any other event command now. It's just super simple and intuitive. I'll, I'll show you at the end, Marlon, yeah. real quick the difference. Uh, premium add-ons. Have you already purchased the full version? Yes. Look at this. Most people who took the survey also bought the full version. Nice. How how are sales going? Yeah. Is is this selling? Is it doing well? Um, I did a good start, but um, now it's not selling well right now, unfortunately. So it, it was really Maybe hot I'm at the beginning, and then it like had it. But to be fair, most software is yeah, that way. That's exactly you, it, like when typical. you first release it the first week, yep. it, it does extremely well, and then it you have a huge drop off, mm -hmm. and that's normal. Yeah. I think that's absolutely normal. You have to just keep promoing it, and put it uh like yes. if you can put it on other platforms or you know, I think you're, yeah, I think you're you doing know, all right. You know, one month ago, yeah, I uh, told you, hey, have you ever seen my random map generation? Yeah, it's been out for a year, and you answered, uh, no. No, right. <laughs> and so that was the thing. It, it could be the greatest game or plugin ever made, but if nobody's heard of it, then it doesn't exist to them. Another $5 super chat from Corey Davis. Thank you so much for throwing the love and the money this way, Corey. We love you right back. He says, I got one. Make it so I can make an event that moves from one screen to the next. You mean like an event that'll follow you? Like it, like it'll persist between maps? Like a traveling merchant, maybe? I don't know. That's interesting. It's a good idea. I don't know how you would go about doing that, but maybe maybe make an event placeholder and then a common event that holds the contents and then the event just calls a common event. I don't know, it's something to think about. Looking at my itch.io page, is it clear to you what you will get by purchasing the full version? Yeah, I mean, map generation. I think the itch page is really good. It looks great. Uh, okay. At one point, um, go ahead. One, one person said no. <laughs> one, yeah, one person said no. So, I mean, that's that's something to think about. They weren't clear what they were even getting. So, that's an interesting way to look at that question and, and the response. Uh, it kind of yeah, reminds... He, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, maybe he, he wrote something in the text box. Watch hmm. was not clear. Right, we'll person. see at the bottom. Um, it it kind of reminds me, as a YouTuber... I'll get like 20 positive comments and then one person was like, this video sucked, you didn't explain it right. <laughs> There's always <laughs> a hater. There's and always like, a hater. And I'm like, oh fuck, did I do it wrong? <laughs> but but then there's like 19 people who are like, thank, thank you, you, this was so helpful. Yeah. I followed it, it worked perfect, blah, 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 blah. But then I'm like dwelling on the one guy who's like, this was fucking dumb. Yeah. And I'm like, did I did I do it wrong? <laughs> always a hater. You, you focus on the negativity and it's kind of mm -hmm. destructive. I try not to, though. If not satisfied, why? I, I'm the only one that responds. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a, that's a trick response. It is, it is. Um, 
why, uh, what are the reasons why you haven't upgraded the full version? Well, this question will only happen if you didn't purchase the full version. I need a more, more time to decide is a fair, uh, fair response, right? You, you I just haven't, I'm taking the survey now cause I want to see blah, 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 but I haven't had it long enough to really make an accurate, um, like yeah. response to it or review of it. Yeah, that sounds fair. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay, that's another dude, and you replied with, "I'm not sure what I will get." Okay, which, which is this probably the same guy right here with the 14. Yes. Minute. Yeah, yeah. And then okay, last question: Is there anything else you would want to add? Five responses. So you're getting some responses here. Mm -hmm. Update. Yeah, the and first one is most important. Yeah. Update and clarify the tutorials and have someone who speaks English natively proofread them. At times, the instructions were rather difficult to follow. Also, try to think of more examples. That's a very good feedback. I think there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's a very good one. Keep the keep the great work. That's good. Village generator <laughs> would be you. cool. And that was one guy probably who didn't know it existed <laughs> or didn't vote for it. I'm jealous that other people will find this. Oh, so he wants to keep this to himself. <laughs> Thank you, Aerosys, for spending years of your life working on make my game better. Okay, that's... Listen, we don't all... <laughs> even if you speak perfect English or relatively good English, still make grammar mistakes. I meant to say uh, working on making my game better. <laughs> but whatever. Okay, I left a heart, so it's all good. Right? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, uh, I'm gonna just give you the air, Aerosis, for a few minutes. It's it's all yours. I'm gonna walk away. In fact, Aerosis, you have the audience. Bye -bye. What I should I, what should I say? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, Drifty does this to me all the time. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, 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 okay. Tell him to buy your plugin. Yo, buy buy yes. buy his plugin, people. Right. Do it. Oh, uh, try it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you know, I'm I'm still new on this HIO and distributing of plugins. So when I started two years ago, um, it, it was a fun project because I just wanted to make a No Man's Sky game. <laughs> Hi, Seria. Um, yes, yeah, so I started with making randomized maps. No, but, but first of all, I looked if there are any other uh, attempts to make random generated maps, and there are. Uh, they never fitted what I needed, so and they were discontinued and not up to date and not working. So yeah, I just started making my own. Um, um, okay, what else can I say? It's wonderful. You've done a great job. I know that there <laughs> yeah. was a big gap for this kind of plugin, and not only did you fill it, you filled it beautifully. You filled it with gold. It's just a great <laughs> plugin. You. You've, done, you've done a great job. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And the you. fact yeah, that um, we spent four hmm. weeks looking at it and we only found one real bug, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, please keep in mind, um, I'm doing this in my free time. Yeah, I have a full-time job and I have a girlfriend and I have friends and there's not much time left to do it. So I you spend have a life? like You're five... not allowed to have a life. <laughs> 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 so I, I can't spend that much time on it. And so yes, there, there will be some, some mistakes and errors, but yeah, do my best to keep the number of errors low. And also I'm, I'm not a professional seller yet. So I, I saw the strategy with you can try out any algorithm um, as fair, but as soon as you want, and don't forget to put the error in your credits, okay. Yeah, but um, I made the decision you can try out anything, any plugging algorithms, but as soon as you want to make a game, mm -hmm. then you should purchase the full version. Right. So this is the reason why the seedable RNG it's, it's and an, to it's save an anywhere system, function. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I was a little bit afraid that people maybe think, whoa, I spent 20 euros or dollars and all I get is a suitable RNG. And no, that, that that's not correct because a suitable RNG uh, a standalone mm -hmm. is not worth 20 euros. Mm -hmm. 
No, but, I, I think um, it's a good I, idea to let people try out your product and, and then if they want to yes. legally use it, there are plenty of people out there that will illegally use it, but if they want to legally use it, they have to buy a license. Corey Davis yep. with a $5 super chat says, Arrow, you rub it in because I don't have a life. Corey, Corey, come Thank on. Thank you for bro. the five bucks, Corey. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> hey, you can join me in not having a life, all right? I just make, what? I make Excuse RPG. Me. Excuse I, I, me. My life is very simple. Hello. Okay. I, I I sit. You know I, what? I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go over here. What then. do you mean? Goodbye. What do you mean? Why are Goodbye. you Why are you offended <laughs> with me saying my life is very simple? You said you don't have a life. Well, my life is pretty simple. I don't really go out. I don't do very much. I we don't. We have the life mm, of hermits. Yeah, I prefer to stay in. When when uh, everybody got on lockdown by force, forceful lockdown, I was like, that's fine. I don't really care. It's not much different oh my than my gosh. normal lifestyle. It was better. So, it was better. Just. I, I, you know, just just take fact, take solace, take comfort in the fact that, in solidarity, we are with you, Corey, and thank you for the five bucks. Right? <laughs> Drift to sleeping on the couch tonight. That's right. No. Am I not your life? You are my life, uh-huh. my love, my light, yeah. my shining star. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. It, just in case you all don't know us enough, we're, we're just joking. You're going to be comments. <gasps> Are they getting a divorce? Oh my gosh, they're mad at each other. What's happening? What, what's hap- what's going to happen with Lily? Who's going to get custody? Oh God. <laughs> the drama. Let the drama unfoil. Mm. Anyway, that's enough of that shit. All right, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for coming to the live stream. Uh, Aerosis, it's been fantastic. You've been uh, a really good um, co-host with us. We appreciate you coming on, talking about your plugin. And anytime you need uh, a, a shout-out, an update or something, the self-promo is in the Discord. Everybody join us in the Discord. Love to see you there. Thank you so much for all the super chats today. It's been a fantastic stream. Uh, we've gone over... Um, a really cool plugin and a few different videos and I'll probably do some tutorials on it in the future um, no promises but we'll see I'm pretty sure that I'll at least do something on it like an edited version mm-hmm. of how to run through the, the uh, how to make a specific thing with this because I like my tutorials to be very specific um, yeah I, I think that's probably good for the stream arrow is there anything else you want to add yeah I really enjoyed the days uh, we had all the streams we had and the chat was also very nice um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the time, and I think as soon as I have got more um, more to show, then we can do it again. Awesome. Yeah, I look forward to that. Right. When we have more to yeah. show about this cool plugin, we'll do another uh, video, maybe a standalone thing, instead of a whole month of it, <laughs> and then we'll talk about the updates and new stuff to come out. And uh, yeah, keep us up to date on it. Arrow, let us know on the on the Discord. Just message us about what's yeah, going course. on and put it in self-promo. Don't forget to wear that promoter's hat and keep pushing it because you can be working on it for years and no one will know it exists if you don't tell people about it. Um, I think you've done a fantastic job with it. I'm really excited to use it, and I'm going to add it in my my main project right now in MZ for, for sure. Wow, oh, cool! All I right. would love to see the finished game then. Oh, I know. Finishing a game is hard, though. Don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why I even have started. I thought, okay, uh, I I don't have the time to make a game, so I just focus on my plugin and make it public. And there will be somebody else who will make a decent game with my plugin. Yeah, hopefully it'll be me. We'll see what happens, though. Uh, I'm sure there'll be several other great uh, projects. Yeah, there are with already this some some other uh, guys who already yeah. uh, show me they have combined MV3D with my plugin, and they are asking me a lot of questions. So I can see, wow, well, okay, he's thinking out of the box and he will make something really cool yeah that's definitely going to be interesting to see somebody take your work and take it to the next level and put it to use practically yes uh, and Corey waffles uh, this was is here earlier, this... by the way what Corey asked where waffles was at i said he was here earlier oh yeah he showed up he dropped five bucks he's like he's got a, stuff to do and whatnot we also have to take care of this baby she's up and she's trying to eat mommy so oh, okay. it's time to go. That's been that's gonna do it for us Say today. Hi, we love you very much. Hi. We'll see you guys tomorrow, two p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, have a fantastic one and join us on the Discord. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe yeah. to the YouTube channel and go buy this plugin. Damn it, it's fantastic. All right, <laughs> give me your money. <laughs> give give your monies to arrows. Yeah. All right. No, seeing, seeing that uh, people are happy using my plugin is uh, more important than the money. But money helps. No, Corey, he didn't say yeah. Vina was noob. They must have forgiven each other. Hi, baby. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, gotta go. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>